The wait is over. Man, were we getting restless. On August 10th, YNR returns. And we'll be back with all new episodes. Return to Genoa City. Return to the drama. Return to the romance. We're on the verge of something great. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> yes, you heard Victor Newman. <laughs> you might have seen that promo here on News 6. After halting production due to the coronavirus pandemic earlier this year, The Young and The Restless will air new episodes starting next week right here on News 6. And there's a lot going on in Genoa City. Oh. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles is here now to give us a preview of next week's lineup. Lots of drama, right? So much drama. You guys are not ready for this. Kirsten, there are certain CBS shows that have a huge following, and The Young and The Restless is definitely one of them. After all, I mean, it's been on the air for decades, and it is the number one daytime drama. So we're well aware of how loyal YNR fans are, and that is why we're excited to give you guys a preview of all of the Return Week episodes. It's a mix of a lot of drama and yet some familiar developments. Now, according to CBS, Monday's new episode debut features Lily and Billy interviewing Genoa City residents as they celebrate the anniversary of Catherine's dedication at Chancellor Park. Today, Tuesday's episode was actually filmed before the pandemic shut down production, and the synopsis says that Sharon struggles with her new normal following her surgery, and Phyllis has a bone to pick with Abby. On Wednesday, CBS teased that Victor and Chelsea are putting their differences aside to help Adam, and Summer is also supposed to reveal her true feelings about Nick. Then next Thursday, the classic soap rivalry between Jack and Victor heats up as Jack's parenting advice strikes a nerve with Victor. And we also found out that Esther will help Kevin prepare for fatherhood. Then to finish up the week, on Friday, Devin bonds with Amanda, Nikki's attempt to keep the peace with the Newman family backfires, and Jack and Ashley are reminded of their family's checkered past. Like I said, you were not ready for all that drama. So you have one more rerun to get through today before the soap returns Monday at 1230, right after News 6 at noon. And we have included more details on these episodes in this web story over on ClickOrlando.com. Now, all you have to do is pray that the governor doesn't decide to give his update at 1230 on Monday, right? Oh, man. Mm. We will be some, have some angry callers. Let's yeah. not no. say that <laughs> out loud and bring that into like fruition. Beetlejuice. We just don't say no, it. Just don't, just say don't say it. it. But you know what? If you didn't write that down and like make the truth tree of everything that's going on, you can check clickorlando.com. Yeah. Brianna always has things in there. It's funny because uh, hanging out with Julie during the day, I've learned to really embrace the soap operas. Yeah. I uh, hope she's not watching because I just, you know, <laughs> announced that she's a huge soap opera <laughs> fan, but we knew that already. Um, but it's, it was nice to see the reruns because I got to see part. a little bit of the backgrounds yes. and, you know. I think people have enjoyed that. Yeah. It's probably a little old by now, but it's been a good time. Yeah, it has.